If I'm growing leafy greens with tilapia fish, what is the best pH range for my system? This is from Carlo. The school of aquaponics. So this is a super valuable question here. As some of you may know that I teach that pH is the single most important factor in an aquaponics system, di dictating how your aquaponics system is going to run, how efficient it's going to run and how productive it's going to be. So what we need to do is create three separate categories um, that are going to determine how what pH range we should be operating at. So those three categories are the pH, optimal pH range for um, tilapia, optimal pH range for plants, and optimal pH range for um, the nitrifying bacteria. So we can start with tilapia. Now these guys here are something serious. These guys are some of the most um, capable freshwater fish of adapting to a wide variety of water conditions. And pH is included in this. Um, you can find tilapia cultured in pH ranges from 5 all the way up to, uh, to 10. And um, production or, and feeding rates and um, breeding habits is not significantly impacted by these pH levels. Now, there is a lethal limit that has been reported. And that ranges all the way from levels as low as 3.7 all the way up to 11 um, to 12. So these guys here are something, this is something serious. I call these tilapia the gangsters of, uh, uh, of aquaculture because they're just super hardy and they just can survive in a wide variety of conditions. Now, so we can move on to the plants. We can move on to the plants now. So we know that tilapia is not really affected. So the plants, on the other hand, they have... Uh, a different pH requirement. They are significantly affected by the pH that's inside of the water. And when you look at a pH chart, you can see um, that as the pH begins to decrease, the macronutrients such as like uh, magnesium, uh, nitrate, potassium, calcium, these macronutrients begin to um, become less available to the plant less available to the plant. Whereas on the other spectrum, as you begin to increase on your pH above 7.5 and 8 around those areas, you can see that the, ma the micronutrient uptake begins to decrease. It begins to decrease. So there's we have to find a balance in this equation. We have to find a balance in this equation. And looking at the pH chart, we can see that there's an ideal spot for nutrient uptake. And that's so usually somewhere around 6 to 7. Six to seven, that's the sweet spot. So we know where we're at with the plants. Tilapia, these guys, the gangsters, these guys can operate in almost any pH range. So, and But our plants are ideally we want from six to seven. So now we can move on to the third category. Our nitrifying bacteria, primarily made up of nitrosomonas, which is the ammonia oxidizing bacteria, and nitrobacter, which is the nitrite oxidizing bacteria. We need to find out their optimal um, operating range. So nitrosomonas is typically, um, or studies show that it typically operates in a pH range from 5.8 to 8.5. Um, and also studies show that it can, it can be found operating in pH ranges as low as four, but we're not going that low in our system. But it just shows the um, hardiness of this type of bacteria. And then we have nitrobacter, um, which Studies show that it operates in a range from 6.5 to 8.5. So we can see that there's, uh, there's some um, conflict going on here. We have 5.8 for nitrosomonas, but 6. Point, if, if we keep it at that level, we won't have any nitrite oxidizing bacteria because that requires a pH of somewhere around 6.5 to be optimal. It, you, it, you can have nitrite oxidizing bacteria in lower pH ranges, but it's not going to be optimal. And that's what we're looking for here. We're looking for optimal. So this tells us here we need to meet somewhere in the middle. We need to meet here some in the middle. So 5.8 to 8.5 for nitrosomonas. And we see that nitrobacter is from 6.5 to 8.5. So the lowest we can go is 6.5. So what we can do now is take all of our optimal pH ranges and we can put them together and find out which one makes the most sense? What makes the most sense? What we can do and what we can do. So we can take the tilapia first. We can go back up and see, okay, tilapia doesn't have an effect. These guys don't care. They're doing whatever they want to do in any pH range. They're surviving and they're eating. So that's fine. Now we can look at the plants. We want the plants from around 6 to 7, somewhere around there. 
So that's our pretty much our starting point right now from six to seven. Then we come down to our uh, bacteria. We look at that. Where are we operating at that? We want it at least 6.5, at least 6.5 to have some good uh, nitrification going on in the system. So we have, we really have 6.5 to seven to work with because seven, we don't want to pass seven because now our plants are not able to take up the uh, efficiently take up the amount of nutrients that we want them to. So we don't want to pass seven, but we don't really don't want to stay. Do we want to stay at 6.5? That's the low end of the spectrum for nitro back for nitro back there to be operating efficiently. We want to scoot up just a little bit more, give it a little bit more room. So what I would suggest is from here, we can go 6.8 to seven. <laughs> 